Ranking videos from worst to best will ultimately lead to weapons. It's a natural path once regular aspects have been ranked, but how do you tackle such a large sample size with so many different variants? Hello all and welcome back to another Payday 2 ranking video where I take certain aspects of Payday 2 and rank them from worst to best. This series is getting really large now, this being video number 12 and previous videos including ranked heisters, XP, music, heist, DLC, skills, melee and much more, with many more to come. So if you like these kinds of videos, please make sure you subscribe and check out the link in the description to the playlist that houses all the previous and future videos in this series. So in Payday 2, there are primary and secondary weapon categories, and each one of those have their own subcategory. Within all of this, it brings the total weapon count in Payday 2 to 182. Now if that doesn't deserve a HOLY SHIT, then I don't know what does. For clarity, this comprises of the following weapons. 26 assault rifles, 6 LMGs, 12 sniper rifles, 28 regular pistols, 26 akimbo pistols, 22 submachine guns, 22 akimbo submachine guns, 17 shotguns, 3 akimbo shotguns, and 20 special weapons. Now it would be a little nonsensical to compare all weapons across all these categories in one list, so today I will just concentrate on the shotguns. Taking all variants from the categories primaries, secondaries, and of course akimbos, this brings down the number to a more workable 20. Within the shotgun range spanning both secondaries and primaries, there's obviously disparity when it comes to the comparable effectiveness, as a primary is supposed to be just that, the weapon you use primarily over everything else, the secondary being your backup. There are of course strengths and weaknesses to certain secondaries, and some do actually overpower their primary brethren to a certain degree. All of this will be taken into account when looking at this range of weapons. Another thing to note here is that statistics play a heavy part around weapons, and even though some weapons may look nice or have a cool design and reload animation, it's hard to rank a weapon higher just for that. Statistical data is what separates good weapons from bad ones, and there's a variant within all shotguns in Payday 2 that needs mentioning, this being accuracy. With regular ammo, the pellet spread of shotguns within the game is tightened by the accuracy statistic. The shotgun pellet mechanic in the game states that 12 pellets are shot with each one, and if one pellet lands on an enemy, then it deals the said damage stat of that weapon. But of course, this is limited to one pellet per round per shot per enemy. If you want to increase the width of this spread, then you would modify your weapon to reduce the accuracy statistic in order for the spread to be wider and potentially have an increased chance of landing on an enemy. If you are specking your weapon for long range and accuracy, utilizing flechette ammunition for example, then you'd want to increase the accuracy of your weapon. Finally, what separates the men from the boys in any weapon category in Payday 2 is ammo pickup. Sadly within the game, many good weapons are rendered virtually useless via its inability to replenish its ammo from ammo packs on the ground. Some shotguns suffer horrendously from this, and some are obviously helped tremendously by it, but this statistic is also factored in here. Other factors here are the skills tied to shotguns, there being a complete tree dedicated to them themselves. The relevant statistics that I will go into here are base gun damage, the fact that buckshot ammo is utilised for the extra 15 damage on all weapons, and I will also incorporate the effect of the overkill skills effectiveness in this discussion. What's also relevant here is shots to kill. This involves talk about headshot multipliers, which for heavy SWAT units on death sentence is a times 3 multiplier, which is applied after the weapon mods and skills are multiplied in. For example, base weapon damage plus buckshot ammo multiplied by the overkill skill, then multiplied 3 times for a headshot. If you add in critical hits, then this further multiplies the total after all of that, making even some of the lower damage weapons inflict high amounts of damage. So without further ado, let's get into the list and start where we always do, the very bottom. The Breaker 12G. This shotgun sadly falls in last place. It has class leading damage, but is let down by its poor ammo pickup and extremely low fire rate. The high damage of 155 paired with buckshot ammo, overkill skill and headshot multipliers make this a two shot kill on heavy swats and will almost take out tasers and medics in the same amount of shot but does require a third. Other drags such as a slow weapon draw and lacking an overall high ammo pool in relation to its super low ammo pickup rate, this nice looking shotgun lacks in more ways than it shines. The Akimbo Judges the first akimbo set on the list, and it hurts me to say this, but it's the judges. This also shares the highest damage stat of the shotguns, and is again crippled by the worst of the worst ammo pickup rate and low total ammo. The judges have the highest fire rate in the shotgun class, but this tends to exacerbate the usage and magnifies its lack of ammo pickup after exhausting its low reserves. 
For a primary weapon, this is great for dodge builds with its high concealment and adding critical hit skills if you want to be able to one-shot heavy swats and two-shot medics and tasers, but make sure your aim is great. I'd suggest a solid ammo efficient secondary to accompany this primary in a build. As tempting as it may be to run three judges, its single variant suffers from many of the same traits and will leave you high and dry for ammo. Declare. If you like the primary shotgun the Moscone, then you will like this one, sharing very similar traits including damage and the ability to conceal it to a high level. Yet again, a class leading damage of 155, the Claire shotgun does not mess around in close quarters. As a secondary, it works well with different ammo types such as Dragon's Breath and HT rounds, but make sure it's supplemented by a solid primary and this is used only on occasion. Ammo pickup is extremely weak and the loaded ammo is only two, so lucky that it reloads quicker than other shotguns, especially with a shotgun CQB skill. Due to its 155 base damage, it does share the same shots to kill as the Judges and Breaker that came before it. The, Goliath. the single Goliath shares no comparison to the grandeur that its name suggests, and lacks compared to its doubled up big brother. Sitting in the secondary category, this low concealment shotgun has a decent ammo pickup and range, but is let down by its small mag size and the fact that other weapons in this category just outshine it when it comes to the reason why you take this one. The Goliath isn't strong enough to be an equal to a primary, so you would potentially use it for support, utilizing Dragon's Breath or HE rounds. However, if that is the route, then there's better alternatives that offer bigger mag sizes, better ammo pickup, and faster reloads. I remember when this shotgun was released, and it sure does pack a punch. Again, another highest in class as far as damage and rate of fire here. It's just a problem that the weapon only holds two in the chamber at any time, without any chance of increasing this for obvious reasons. With mods, it's extremely concealable and has some super good accuracy for long range shots, tied for the highest base accuracy with a very similar Moscone. For a high damage weapon, again ammo pickup suffers a lot as a result, meaning if you start missing shots with this accurate weapon, you may run into trouble. It's worth noting again that with buckshot ammo and the overkill skill activated, a headshot on a death sentence heavy SWAT will be dealing over 890 damage, just shy of their 960 health. Land a critical hit with Unseen Strike or Low Blow and you'll be one-shotting medics and tasers on death sentence. The Moscone. The Moscone is the close brother to the previous Jocelyn, very similar in all aspects, just slightly better ammo pickup and more total ammo. Same damage and accuracy as previously mentioned, the Moscone is also able to be modified to be super small and concealable for low detection builds. I think this one is one of the better looking shotguns in Payday 2 with its classic styling. The GSPS. The GSPS is in a similar group to the previous two shotguns, however it's a secondary instead, allowing you to benefit from the positives of those two but have it sit in the second spot instead of its primary. Same damage as the Moscone and Jocelyn, same total ammo as the Jocelyn but a mag size of 7 instead of that too. It has some high concealment opportunity just like the previous two and in fact shares a very similar ammo pickup to the Jocelyn. The only drawback in comparison to the Jocelyn Moscone is the slower fire rate, but this is countered by the larger ammo pool and lack of need to reload after just two shots. The Reinfeld 880. The first of two Reinfelds on the list and first up is the 880. A nice little pump action shotgun that suffers slightly from its slow reloading and less than good ammo pickup. The damage is second highest of all shotguns if you remove all of the 155 damage group so you'll still be two headshotting heavy SWAT enemies here but needing four headshots for medics and tasers. With the ammo pickup of just one ammo per box this will create a deficiency real fast if you go after special enemies. Definitely middle of the road for this shotgun. The locomotive. This train reference locomotive is essentially an improved and secondary version of the Reinfeld in the previous spot. Again, we have a situation where a secondary either outshines or equals its primary big brother in terms of most stats. The locomotive has same base ammo, both mag and total ammo to the Reinfeld. Same ammo pickup rates, but outclasses it when it comes to rate of fire and concealment. The locomotive is also a great secondary to take as a stealth weapon or a secondary into loud battle with different ammo types to suit your needs. With overkill active and buckshot ammo, two shot in heavy swats with a secondary is fun and if you conceal enough to get critical hits or take unseen strike, your secondary will be one hit killing these suckers all day long. The judge. This shotgun has seen a few changes over its lifespan and shares statistics with other weapons in this class. The judge shares class leading base damage of 155, class leading fire rate of 500 and the highest base concealment of all shotguns. So what do you do when Payday 2 developers create a weapon like this? Drum roll please. The same as every other well-powered weapon, cut its balls off when it comes to ammo pickup. With the worst ammo pickup of any shotgun, Overkill yield their favourite weapon nerfing sword, the ammo pickup and lop those suckers right off. 
Luckily, the judge has great concealment, which can allow you to throw HE or Dragon's Breath rounds on it and allow you to have some fluidity with your primary and the concealment there to play off. But sadly, you will have to not take advantage of the fast fire rate or else you'll have a useless piece of crap in your holster. The Judge, however, is a perfect stealth weapon with its high concealment and of course utilising the shotgun knockback to launch enemies out of sight or into better spots to answer pages. The Raven. Now into the top 10. Quoth the Raven, Nevermore. The perfect shotgun to sit in the middle of this list. Nothing outstanding around this weapon and nothing inherently bad either. Two shot heavy swats like most other decent shotguns here, nice size ammo pool, largest mag size and pretty solid base damage. Concealable for crits where you'll easily headshot heavy swats and just fall shy of one hitting medics and tasers. A great weapon for stealth just like the judge but a slightly better ammo pickup than the judge but still pretty poor. The street sweeper. Another secondary and this time not waxed by stats. A solid addition that works extremely well with Dragon's Breath rounds due to its high ammo pool and pickup. The total starting ammo for this shotgun is tied third highest and also tied third highest when it comes to ammo pickup rates. The rate of fire is also second highest in this class making it a great combo without having to be in fear of running out of ammo. Its low damage statistics holds it back slightly so if you're running buckshot ammo with overkill activated you'll be needing 4 headshots to take down our friendly heavy swat. Even with critical hits it will still take 2 headshots. Tasers and medics will take 6 headshots without crits, which granted you have the ammo ability, but this may be the perfect weapon for alternate ammo type to take advantage of its other benefits. The Reinfeld 88. The other and newer Reinfeld shotgun, a better rate of fire and more damage than its brother, along with a very slight increase on ammo pickup, make this the better choice when it comes to the two Reinfelds. The damage is on its own in second place with 120 base, scaling up to be a 2 headshot kill on heavy swats. An interesting fact about the damage on this shotgun is that it fits perfectly with the Berserker skill. If you add Berserker and Frenzy to just standardise the 40% damage increase, of course you'll get more if you lower your health more, but just with that and no critical hits, headshots on heavy swats are always a one hit kill. That's using Bookshot and the Overkill skill. Medics, Tasers and Cloakers are all 2 shot headshot kills also. Definitely a sleeper shotgun in the ranks and worth taking Berserker on this one for its perfect ability to one shot hit regulars and all but bulldozer specials. This could be the best shotgun you don't use. The, grim. the single grim is not very grim. Sure it's the weakest damage of all shotguns but it also shares the best ammo pickup rate within its class. This means that it's a spam machine with special rounds. Taking regular buckshot ammo with overkill activated you will need 6 headshots to take out just one heavy swat on death sentence so don't do that. With critical hits this would go to a 2 shot kill but where the weapon really shines is its ability to strengthen any build by taking dragon's breath rounds and stunning hordes of enemies, delivering death devastating amounts of damage over time through fire. Over 6 bullets pick up ammo per box, you can go all day long with this one and never run out. Use modifications to lower the stability and go open up a can of spam on those assholes. To stay out. This shotgun is very similar in many ways to the Isma, which we haven't talked about just yet. Very slightly higher ammo mag and total than the Isma, but slightly less rate of fire and a lot lower concealment opportunity. The stakeout can be utilised with critical hits and with sacrificing a secondary little you can reach low blow territory to complement unseen strike if desired. This heavy sounding shotgun will deliver 4 headshot heavy SWAT kills with buckshot and overkill half into 2 if crits are landed. This primary is a great sidekick to a solid secondary and is a lot of fun to play. The shotgun also carries a higher than average ammo pickup which increases the fun factor and ability to keep using it without having to switch to the secondary constantly. This of course pairs well with the third largest ammo pool of all shotguns. The Predator The Predator not only carries a really cool name but ticks a lot of boxes in the shotgun category. Medium to high fire rate, large ammo pool and can be a great supplement to a solid secondary if you were to use Dragon's Breath rounds on this primary. 3 headshot heavy swats with buckshot and overkill, 2 headshots with berserker or just 1 shot with a critical hit. The ammo pickup rate sits with the big boys here gaining you a little over 4 ammo per pack picked up. So as long as you hit your shots here you'll have a net positive on ammo per kill. The M1014. A shotgun that has more numbers than letters in its name must be good. The M1014 is similar in many ways to the previous predator, just deviating slightly when it comes to mag size and rate of fire. This slightly increased mag size can be matched through mods but the welcomed rate of fire increase from 300 to 429 is a huge help. Similar in ammo pickup the damage stats are identical lending itself to berserker and or critical hits to make this a top tier shotgun, again one shot in heavy swats if you land a critical hit headshot. The shotgun is easy to get into low blow basic detection territory with modifications and it's an all round great shotgun. The Isma. In the number 3 spot and where some would put this higher. The top shotguns in the game are all very strong and once you get to the top 10 they're all pretty damn good. 
The Isma is good for many reasons, most of which are stated in the stakeout section. High rate of fire, which is awesome with the full auto fire, large mag size especially with mods and skills, and again, the large total ammo. The ammo pickup is one of the best, also along with its ability to be highly concealable and make it very useful in obtaining critical hits through low blow. Base damage is relatively low, but with skills, headshots and critical hits, you can really lower the time to kill on all enemies. With crits, you can two headshot heavy swats easily. If you go with Berserker, you can land two shot headshot kills without crits, or have both to remove specials with ultimate ease. With its large ammo pool, mag fed ammo, and mods to lower stability, this is also a weapon where you can benefit heavily from using Dragon's Breath Rounds on it. Supplemented by its large ammo pickup rate, you'll never run out of ammo with this shotgun and leave a devastating trail behind you whether it's on fire or laying on the ground. Such a tough decision between the top two on this list. The rowdy, trigger happy spam machines the Brothers Grimm take the second spot. This high fire rate, largest mag size and total ammo, low base damage beast with great concealment is an efficient weapon to breeze through heist without needing to maximize ammo or land every single shot. Class leading ammo capacity along with class leading ammo pickup rates, the Brothers will cut through everything on death sentence in no time. Controlling the recoil can be a little wild, but on the other side, you have some serious firepower. With buckshot, overkill, critical hits, and headshots, you can essentially take down heavy swats with two headshots and specials in three. Its concealment prowess means you can gain critical hits through low blow basic, saving heavy points if you didn't want to go up to unseen strike. Throwing special ammo on these and taking a solid secondary is also an option, but you'd miss out on the insane DPS these secure. Over 6 ammo pickups per box make this a force to be reckoned with, especially considering that these Grims have the lowest accuracy by far of all shotguns at only 12. The next lowest is at 28. That means you have pellets flying all over the place here, looking to land on our friendly foes. The Akimbo Goliaths. The number one spot goes to the Goliaths, and it goes without saying that these Akimbo shotguns are amazing. It's a close call with these and the Grims, and it's good that we get the choice as they serve as two different offerings in way of playstyles. Whereas the Grims are way more spammable due to the super high ammo pool you get, these are higher damage in deep boom sound in Akimbos and are a thing of beauty. With great ammo pickup and the ability to two headshot kill heavy swats without crits or berserker, you can't go wrong here. Even though the ammo pickup is great, be aware that each shot is two bullets, so as long as you aren't too trigger happy with these goliaths, they will serve you extremely well, being not only the best shotgun in the game, but arguably one of the best weapons in the game overall. These goliaths aren't as concealable as the Grims before them, but you can still utilize mods to get these into low blow ace territory and get the added crit chance if desired. So there we have it, one of the best weapon categories in the game, ranked from worst to best. Let me know in the comments which category you would like to see next, and also which shotgun is your favorite. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.